Welcome to Studio Cloud's video tutorial on how to customize the invoice. Like all of our other video tutorials, we do need to mention that if you have any questions or see things that are different from your uh, Studio Cloud program, you need to go to our uh, written tutorials to uh, get the latest and updated information because those are updated as soon as an update is released while our video tutorials there is some delay between when they are updated. So to update the printed invoice, first of all when you come here you have the option to print the invoice and it um, will print off an invoice and it will look like something like this depending on how you've customized it. To customize that printed invoice, that was a PDF invoice we just printed, you go to settings and then you have a bunch of different options here. You have manage logo, customize invoice and receipt, customize invoice wording. So we're going to um, start with the manage logo. Now this is the logo we currently have in the system and I have a, a printed um, PDF set up. Let me pull that up real quick. There's the printed PDF one. Um, if you notice here, the uh, the logo is up here. Now, um, some people upload a bigger a logo that's a bigger size, and they'll have the uh, they'll center it, and so the logo will actually print here. So you just uh, if your logo is not in the exact location where you want it to be, um, you do you need to actually move the image and then re-upload it using the manage logo option there um, and that will fix it. So uh, the logo is kind of um, stuck here and it's up to you to move your image around to get to, to appear in the right location based upon what you want. Um, let's go ahead and step into the customize invoice and receipt option here. Now we have quite a few different options here. These are the general settings. What that specifically means is everything up here except for uh, these options down here. So this stuff is part of the invoice print layout. The general settings are part of the um, all these options up up here that are yeah these type of options. So we're going to let's move this over a little. There, now we can see it. So the header color is going to be the color up here of these and that does apply to these as well. So this is the same color all over the place. And then the uh, table color does apply here. So I, it was a little bit misleading what I said. These apply to the actual um, data inside of the table, that one. And we'll get to that in a second. I'll, and so as you can see, we have a white one right here, and then we have a, a gray one, a, a lighter gray, and then it will go back and forth. Whereas up here, the darker, gr the darker gray is the header color, and so you, you could choose any other color you want for that header. And then you have the font size, uh, this being the font size right here. And then you have the body font size, which is these right here, as well as these others. Um, page layout options, portrait or landscape, kind of depends on uh, which style you like to print at. Typically, by default, it is portrait because that's the most common one. Then you have your name, address, phone, and email. That's this stuff up here. Then you have a signature line, which is by default turned off, but that's this down here. Um, so there it's turned off, there it's turned on. And by default, it is turned off. That's uh, Some people like to have uh, essentially sign the invoice with regards to a return policy or, or your terms and agreement. Um, those terms go here in the additional information thing and that will be printed uh, right here. So you have the additional information, that, um, copyright notices, um, return policies, refunds, uh, their terms of agreements, what, whatever you want to have on the invoice, you put it there and then people like to put the signature underneath that. And then uh, event address number and event date, that would go into this section as well. And the uh, customer information right here goes into this section over here and you hide and show what you want to see or not. Kind of depends. And if they don't have a, a home phone, work phone, or cell phone, it doesn't it isn't printed. Um, there's an option here is to display payments due. Payments due are printed down here. So uh, it will say uh, payment date right here. It will say the amount and then we'll have a comment there saying payment due and the date would be in the future payment due. And you can optionally have it display those payment dues or not. If you have that turned off, it only it will only display the payments that they have given you. Um, if you have it turned on, um, then it will display uh, both the payments they have given you as well as the payments due. Moving on to here, 
So the uh, show package details, it will show the items that are in the package as a separate line. So right here we have, let's assume that this was a package, then underneath it it would have each one of the items in the package. Uh, we typically have that turned off by default because um, some people's packages can have 20 or 30 items. Um, if you want to have it display, you just go in there and select that and it will show it. Alignment, right now it's centered and as you can see the um, the table, they're centered right here, so right here they're in the center. If it was, there's a line left, a line right. If you had that set up, then the location would be over here and the wedding would be over here. So they'd be right um, aligned on the left side. If you had right, it'd be right here where the fee would end right there and the album would end right there. They'd be lined up, but they'd essentially start that way and go that way. Uh, there's the option to automatically size columns, manually size columns, or, or do different things. These over here are the different sizes, so let's say you switch to, these are, each one of these are the columns. Um, and you can, as you can see, they're uh, sized out roughly even, but you can change that all and, and, and change the column size so you can have the, it be really tight on the total or, or more space, and this is how you do it. You, you come in here and you manually select the sizes, and it, it's pretty much you have to do a trial and error method. You set it to how you want, and then you go and print one, um, and it'll show you the PDF of that size. And then you, ha you have, you have uh, different options. Uh, the fixed width is going to be stuck there. The, the fill width is going to be um, more, it's going to fill these, and then uh, the last one will have extra space to fill that spot. So it's fixed, 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 and then the last one will fill it. Whereas if you do the fixed, it doesn't do it like that. It will be more, uh, the table itself will be cut off, so it might not fill up this whole entire space. These right here are the columns, so if you want the image thumbnail to appear, you just select it right there. If you want the file name to appear in the printed invoice, you just select it right there. Right now, we, as you can see from the checkboxes here, we only have the name, quantity, price, and total displayed. But if you want to have any others, or if you want to remove those, you just select them right there, and you can add remove them. Um, the receipt settings, the receipt is if you have a receipt printer, and this only applies to receipts. And the way receipts work are uh, you need a you have to actually go to a payment and there's a print icon right there, print receipt. And this will print out the receipt uh, directly to a receipt printer. Um, so it is critical to, to um, recognize that the receipt settings only apply to the printer receipt, whereas these other two options are applied to the invoice. We've had some confusion of people thinking that the receipt settings are how they turn on and off columns for the printed invoice and vice versa. So these are invoice, these are receipt, just to clarify that. And these, once again, same thing applies. If you don't want it printed on the receipt, you just select it and it will remove it. Now let's move on to the wording. The customized invoice wording, so it pops up a window and it has general settings. This is general studio cloud settings, invoice wordings, and estimate wording. So um, you actually can get the same window by coming here and clicking on the manage studio cloud settings. Um, there might be some confusion on that, so I um, just wanted to clarify that before we begin. Uh, this is the currency signal that will be displayed in the printed invoice. It is not; it will not change the symbol that is displayed in the Studio Cloud program, only the printed invoice. Um, this temperature symbol applies to the temperature on the overview page, and this is the format that will be used in the printed invoice. And um, I believe it's also used throughout the program as well. And this is the font, si font size that is used in the program. Studio Cloud supports the font size of 10. If you change it to a different font size, 11, 12, 14, or 9, it can push buttons off of screens and do um, unplanned for behavior. We only support the font size of 10. So if you change it, it is uh, uh, you might not see all the buttons or the buttons might get cut off. Cut off. Um, the auto assign marketing campaigns to clients. If you create a client and do not have a marketing campaign to assign to, if you do not have a marketing campaign assigned to that client, and then you create a session and assign a marketing campaign to that session it will automatically assign the same marketing campaign to the client. So um, the marketing campaigns, if you track it based upon a client, that's where the, the client came from. If you track it based upon a session, that's where the revenue for that session came from. So you might have a client that came from one marketing campaign and then they booked five 
other sessions from different marketing campaigns. Um, this is a good thing to have turned on, but it's completely your decision. Uh, view PDFs in Studio Cloud. You can use a default reader. Right now we have it set up so it opens a PDF in the Studio Cloud program. If you don't like that, you can have it automatically open up outside of the Studio Cloud program using your default, your default PDF reader. Okay, let's move on to the actual wording. We do have some uh, pre-set up um, options here. Right now, uh, English is the only supported language in the Studio Cloud program. Um, the first one is the customer information. Now let's go ahead and move this and we're going to pull up the... So right, right here, customer information. If you do not like that wording, you just come here and change it right there. Um, this right here is the columns. It, we don't have right now we're not showing the thumbnail file name but we do have the name so if you don't like the, the the name column header just come in here and change it and you do the same thing for the quantity the price just change it to whatever wording you like and then you have the payment information the same thing applies down here you just change the payment date method and amount to whatever you want to and uh, same thing for the invoice information over here um, that would be applying right here invoice information and we do not aren't currently showing the the session number, session date, event address, so it's not displayed there, but you can uh, um, enable that from the other window, the customized invoice and receipt window. And then the totals down here, you can customize all these yourself, um, the wording. Uh, same thing applies to the estimate, pretty much the same exact customization. The estimate and the invoice do share the same uh, customization um, column. So if you come in here and turn off the name for the printed invoice, it also turns it off for the estimate. So it's, it's shared between the two. And so we did, uh, we have the estimate wording that you can change, and then we have the invoice wording. So um, just to recap, manage logo right here. This is how you change your logo. Um, manage customize invoice and receipt. This has all the settings for changing the look and feel of the wording as well as the columns of the uh, the invoice table and then the wording itself this uh, changes all the wording in the invoice right here so you can customize it to have the wording you want and that's how you customize the printed invoice if you have additional questions um, go to our live chat or go to the forum um, if uh, you uh, we do have the written tutorials and so if you see anything different on yours versus uh, what we have displayed here we might have done an update and add some more features go to the written tutorials and look at those